All right, back with part three, PGR Tipton 2020. Um, real nice U diesel. Uh, and not only is it a U diesel, but it's actually one of the uh, U diesels that was built uh, to go to Turkey. Uh, get down in here like this. I don't know if that'll show up or not. If it does, um, hit pause and read it. There's a lot of neat history on these tractors. Uh, real nice example. Uh, out of Missouri. Another really unique piece is a U cane tractor. Uh, it's also out of the group out of Missouri. Uh, this is one of 110 built or 12 volt version. And uh, if you need carburetors, magnetos, yeah, car carburetors, electrical uh, wiring harness and stuff, that guy right there, that's the guy. Motec Engineering. Uh, and I got another one from Missouri. Um, nice 2132 Twin City. Uh, <laughs> that right there, G1000 Super. Uh, yeah, it's got a, uh, a uh, <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot. <laughs> it's got a lot. Real nice UB, a real slick looking Z. Really really clean 302 super a couple little town and countries Ooh, both hydros it's kind of unique another big LPG uh, looks like maybe it was converted I would say this was a gas tractor originally converted to LP of that or it's a, it's a gas hood because it's got these slots here in the hood and that would have cleared the uh, Clear this rib, you know, this seam in the gas tank. Got a nice little three bottom plow back there. A little UTS. Another Z. Big G1000. Here's a here's the here's the third 1952R that's at this show this year. Uh, and this one uh, this one actually has the uh, hitcher attachment on the back. I don't know if it'll show up in the video, but you can see the bracketry under here with the arms that go back. Uh, normally on the on the R's of this vintage, the rock shaft would be in this area here, but uh, the ones with the hitcher, and that's partly why they uh, they moved the rock shaft back here to work with the three-point hitcher assembly, and that's why they have this higher seat bracket because that. Normally the seat would mount up in this area here. So with the seat bra bracket coming right off the back of the transmission housing, that gives them space for the rock shaft to clear the uh, clear the three-point lift. And then when they, of course, that also raised it up, well, to raise the steering shaft, the steering wheel for knee clearance, then they had to add that little Z bracket to move it out and up. And here's that M5 with the hair dryer on it again. And I think he went out in the field and pulled this big uh, field cultivator chisel plow thing around a little bit. So, um, yeah, all in all, uh, real nice show. Uh, I don't remember if that yeah, M5 was there earlier. For the, for the short notice of having a, a PGR national show here at Tipton, uh, the official count was 89 tractors I believe but as I was talking with Cheryl from the PGR there was quite a few tractors uh, over at the tractor pull track that never made it over here a lot quite a few Molines that may or may not have been counted and then quite a few Molines just parked throughout the showgrounds so for such a short notice um, excellent turnout excellent turnout of a lot of neat stuff uh, really hoping that 2021 when it's featured pioneer engineers in Rushville, Indiana that uh, we get at least at least this maybe more so there you go PGR Tipton 2020